Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. And so today what I'm gonna do is a no buy, low buy, or go buy, where I talk about recently released eyeshadow palettes and whether or not I plan to not buy them, low buy them, maybe put them on a wish list, or go buy them. So I do these videos sporadically. Um, I don't do them as often as some other creators because Sometimes I just don't have the time to film the videos. I haven't had a lot of time lately due to the fact that Delilah is sick. So I've just had to pick and choose when I film. So basically, we're going to be talking about some new releases today. And I'm going to be telling you whether or not I planned to purchase or pass on them. And that's what we're going to do. So welcome if you're new. My name is Amy. This is Dolly Mama Beauty on this channel. I love to talk about eyeshadow palettes first and foremost. That's my favorite thing to talk about. But I love makeup in general. There's really no topic of makeup other than maybe mascara, which I just loathe mascara, that I don't like to talk about. And I love drugstore beauty as well. So if you like that kind of content, then I hope you'll think about subscribing. I really, really would appreciate it. And if you wouldn't mind, also please like this video and watch all the way through so that I can get the good watch time, help the algorithm out, help other people see my channel, and maybe grow my following here on YouTube. I would really, really appreciate that. So we're going to be talking about new releases. So uh, obviously I got this idea from Samantha March. I think a lot of people have gotten that idea from her. It's called the Will I Buy It series. I, I don't really know if Samantha's doing those as much anymore. I think she still is, but um, I've seen other people do them and they do new talk about new makeup releases. Well, mine is similar only, I only talk about eyeshadow palettes because that's what I really, really love and want to talk about. I'm gonna adjust my camera real quick. That's what I love to talk about. So that being said, we're going to jump right in. So the first thing I wanna talk about is a re-release. These palettes were released last year and this brand brought them back for the holiday season in addition to two new palettes. I'm talking about Odin's Eye. So these are the palettes from last year. This is the Christmas Morning Palette and the Christmas Eve Palette. Now these were extremely popular. They sold out really, really fast and they were only available at Christmas. Well, Odin's Eye brought them back for this Christmas season. I'm not joking you, these will be available tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. So probably right when you're watching this, these palettes will be available. This, this is not a drill like Angie said. These were last year's releases. They were limited edition. They were only restocked once. Then they went out of stock and they, and they brought them back for this Christmas season. So let me just show you really quick. This one is my favorite one. This, was, this one is the Christmas Eve palette. I love this. I have a combination of these on my eyes today. So here is the Christmas Eve palette. I love this color story. I have this deep teal in my outer corner, this yellow uh, in the inner portion of my crease, and then this silver on the inner portion of my lid. So I used three shades from, or well, two, three shades from here, two shades from the Christmas morning palette. These are beautiful. I highly recommend them. A lot of people wanted these, didn't get them, then regretted it. Don't sleep on it. I don't think they'll be back next year. So there's the Christmas um, Christmas Eve palette. Now I don't need to purchase this because I already bought it. Yeah, this is Christmas morning um, or Merry Christmas palette. This is Merry Christmas palette. This is beautiful as well. I used this shade to blend out my outer corner and I used um, the shade on the middle portion of my lid. Love these palettes. These are great. You can use a code for these and these are limited edition, but they are not a collab. They are code. I have a bunch of friends that have codes, but you guys know that I have a special place in my heart for my friend Karen Harris. So I'm going to put her code on the screen up here. It's KH Makeup. It'll save you 10%. It is affiliated. It helps her channel. She's a lovely, lovely, lovely friend, and she's a great mom, and she really puts a lot of effort into her channel, and she's very special to me. So I would really appreciate it if you guys use Karen's code. If you want to use anybody else's code, Angie has a code, Betty Jean has a code, Steph's Beauty Stash has a code, Heather has a code, Amanda has a code, Annette has a code. Every, all of my friends have codes. So um, 
I just um, want to um, help Karen out. So if you guys, I don't have a code yet, I do not receive a PR from Odin's Eye, so I am not affiliated and I don't have a code. So please use a code. Everybody has one that you know that watch me. If you watch the other channels, you know that they have codes. Cage makeup is the code I'm gonna leave here on the screen. So guys, Odin's Eye is releasing two new palettes for Christmas time. It's super exciting. I'm very thrilled about this. These are absolutely, now let me pull these up because I, okay, let me pull these up. So they're releasing two new palettes for, um, for Christmas. They're releasing the Hey Reindeer palette, which is this one right here, and they're releasing the Snow Dream palette, which is right here. Now, these palettes are really, really cute. I am buying them. I already know that I'm buying them. I know how much I love Odin's Eye and I know the quality and I know that I'm going to get use out of these, but I will tell you, hey reindeer, snow dream over here, I don't really care too much for these color stories. Now, when you look at these pictures, I don't know how saturated these pictures are, but I've seen some photos that are oversaturated, meaning the colors appear darker than they actually are. These are actually really, really light palettes with not a lot of deep shades in them. They have a lot of mid-tone shades and a lot of pastel shades and a lot of shimmers. There's not a lot of deepening shades. There's maybe the one brown shade in the Hey Reindeer palette, but other than that, the majority of these palettes are lighter tones. So really that's not my preference. I'm still buying these, but that's not my preference. So these are going to also be available um, tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Well, not 10 a.m. 6 a.m. PST. 9 p.m. Okay, 6 a.m. PST, 9 a.m. Um, EST, and 1 p.m. Um, in um, the Swedish time zone, whatever the time zone is called. So those, because Odin's Eye is a Swedish brand. So if you are interested in these palettes, I mean, if you're a Westie like me, then you're gonna have to get up really, really early. I would not wait. I mean, set an alarm, really be conscientious of this because honestly, I don't think these new palettes are gonna be as popular as their older ones or the ones that were released last year, the ones I showed you, but I do think that they are gonna sell out. So I would not advise that you sleep on it. Um, get up, set an alarm, you know, get your PayPal ready, whatever you gotta do, and you know, a lot of people, you know, and it's Friday, um, so you know, you do have to get up for work, so if you just happen to be up, just set your alarm a little early and get up. It's worth it, I promise you. So I am gonna get these palettes. Okay, so let's see what other palettes we have. We have so many palettes, okay. So I just saved this one. I, I saw my friend Rachel Palmieri, who I dearly love and adore. I'm Okay, so I am hoping that Rachel and Betty Jean will be coming to Las Vegas. I have not talked to either of them. I asked Betty Jean, she did not respond to me, um, but I haven't talked to Rachel. I'm going to Las Vegas for the Creator and Friends Christmas party, and I'm so excited. I told Angie, I told Annette, I told uh, K, K Bell Beauty Kelly, I'm like, I said, you guys, I'm coming. Um, Samantha March knows I'm coming. She's like, I'm so excited. I'm like, yes, I am too. I can't wait to meet you guys. So I feel, I'm feeling a little bit special because I'm just like so excited. So I'm hoping Rachel will come. So I saw Rachel's video talking about the Simply Posh Cosmetics Cozy Cabin Holiday Edition palettes that launched, that have already launched. So these are them. Um, the, I'm not interested in the eight pan one. I mean, really for me, that looks like it's more like a blush palette. Is that a face palette? I don't even know. It's a two-part collection, limited edition for this holiday season. Um, there will be, let's see, it's a long description box. But anyway, I just like the eyeshadow palette. I do want to try Simply Posh. I would pass on this one mostly because it's kind of a rainbow palette, and I don't really need kind of a rainbow palette. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna scoot over just a little bit. I don't really need a rainbow palette in my collection, but I do wanna try Simply Posh. They're definitely a brand on my radar. So excited, and this palette is available. So all the palettes that I'm mentioning in this video, release information, price information, website information, will all be linked down below. I do not have affiliate links with any of these, or a codes with any of these, except for Nomad. So um, just keep that in mind, you know, you know, 
check in with your other friends that are selling, you know, that are that are promoting these brands because the chances are they probably have a code. I'm sure Rachel does, and I, I think hers is just Rachel, but I'm not sure. Okay, so that is the um, the holiday collection from uh, Simply Posh Co Cosmetics, and I do like the palette. I love those deep those deep jewel tones at the bottom, but it's just not for me. So let's move on. Let's see. Okay, this one. Makeup Maniac Cosmetics. I just saw this yesterday, and I want to. I want to say this is. It's the Uranus palette. I, I don't. Just the name alone. I mean, everybody makes jokes about Uranus, the country, Uranus, whatever. Um, not country, the planet. And um, I like the color story, but you know, aesthetically, it just looks kind of off. You know, some of the pans are square, some of the pans are shimmer or, or circle. And it's cute, but I'm just kind of like, hmm, you know, and it's it's only $10, it looks like. It says, tell her color quest $10. I mean, that's not very much, but no, I'm going to pass on that. Um, I think they have, they have this pink one too, and I think this is the berries and cream, and this is $7. So this brand is affordable, um, and I haven't tried anything from them. But I'm going to pass on both of these. I definitely don't need a super pinky tone palette because I, you know, pink is not my jam. Um, but that, the, 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 the berries and cream palette sort of reminds me of um, the love palette from Natasha Denona, the, the midi palette that she had. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, we talked about the Odin's eye. Okay, um, so this one... This, um, I, I'm looking at Hot Fire Makeup, and this is the uh, Dim, uh, Tim Burton Nightmare Before Christmas um, collection palette that it's the second one. Um, I think there were two. I want to say there were two. I'm not into Melt. I've never been into Melt. I, I think Melt had a moment, and now they're just kind of like, kind of just out there in the breeze, and they're kind of gone the way of Urban Decay. Remember when Urban Decay was Urban Decay was really good and now Melt is kind of in that same realm. They still do interesting color stories, but I, I hear hit or miss things about their formula, which is kind of how Urban Decay is, and so I'm not really interested in the Melt palette. So I'm gonna pass on that. Um, okay, so I am super as far, okay, this is the crazy thing. As far as horror movies are concerned, I am not a fan at all. Horror movies are not my thing. I do not care for them. Never have, never will. But Glamlight really has done a really good job with these horror themed palettes. So the last one that they released, and I'm surprised they didn't do a Halloween collection. They did Friday the 13th. They did they did um, Ghostface. They did Chucky. And then they did, um, yeah, Friday the 13th, Ghostface. Which one am I missing? I'm missing one. Ghostface. Oh, am I missing one? Okay. The Friday the 13th one looked really good. Like, I really, really like that. That kind of smoky blue brown palette looks really good. But this one is two palettes. And this is the Nightmare on Elm Street collection. So the Freddy Krueger palette. And there's two of them. And one of them is uh, red, more red tones, and one of them is more green tones. I love these. I think these are great. I don't need them. Um, the green one I would buy probably mostly because I love greens, but the red one is good because it's got like a lot of depth in it. And I really, really love the colors, but I don't need it. I just don't need it. And needless to say, I'm just not a big horror fan. I already got my, I've got my horror theme palette. If I'm going to get another one, it's going to be the Friday the 13th. I really like that one. And I have the crazy in love with the, the Chucky palette. So I'm glad I have it. Um, great quality. I'm sure this is exceptional quality. I do like that there are two palettes and I loved their series that they did, but I'm not a horror fan, so I'm just going to pass on that. Okay, uh, Viseart released two more of their little petite palettes. Um, the uh, Viol Violette Vespertine Entendu and the Cashmere Charmeuse Entendu. Now, <laughs> These are absolutely stunning for the right person. That person is not me. I think these are beautiful, but I just, this is not something I would want to wear. If I needed this, I have it um, with, you know, um, my ColourPop palettes. Like I've had the, um, uh, the, what you call it? The um, 
Flutter by palette, and that's kind of what this reminds me of. So I definitely don't need this, but I think they're pretty, and I do hear good things about Viseart. So I'm gonna pass on those. This one it was a definite no. Uh, nostalgia with the with the cookie tin was was Jeff definitely in my. Um, was definitely on my radar because I loved these cookies, the butter cookies. This is Cara Beauty Official. Now, if you guys watch my declutter video, uh, you'll know that I decluttered a couple of Cara Beauty palettes. Their quality is not bad, but no, but I do not need something this chunky and bulky. I just don't. It's, and, it, and the butter cookies, oh, they're, these are the best cookies ever. Love these cookies. <sighs> The shortbread, they're so, 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 so good. Especially the ones that have the sugar on top. The square ones with the sugar on top or the ones that are shaped like the pretzel. Those ones are my favorite. But they all taste the same. But, yeah, the, it's a cute palette. But I And I like it for the... I like, I like the idea that it's like those cookies. But it's just, it's super bulky. So it's a no for me. Um, what is this? Oh, I'm just going to pass on that. It's one from Beauty Creations. Okay, this one... This reminded me like of a P. Louise palette or reminded me of that brand that everybody used to talk about. Um, what was it? Oh, it was the British brand that had the, and the or it looks like P. Louise. This is from Painted. It's uh, Painted is launching their basic canvas palette. The Painted Eyeshadow and the Painted Eyeshadow Brush Set. So I've never heard of this brand. It's called Painted, I guess. This is just a really, really warm palette. It kind of reminds me of the second edition of Jacqueline's palette with Morphe without the purple. Or it just looks like, it just looks like a P. Louise palette. And it, the colors are really, really pretty or a mega palette from ColourPop. I, I, I don't need this. It's pretty, but no. So I'm going to pass on that. There's Freddie again. Okay, this one holy crap was so beautiful when i saw it this is the artitude cosmetics uh, man eater eyeshadow palette this is so pretty i love this i love the greens meshed with the pinks and the mustards truthfully i was like intrigued for sure because this is the kind of palette that i totally would get into i really really love green it's so funny i remember a day and a time when i just hated wearing green eyeshadow now it's like one of my favorite colors to wear i know i did a look like this recently but um whenever i have those dark that dark teal shade i tend to gravitate towards that so i put that on my eyes today but this is beautiful um you know uh it was it was gifted to karen so she she posted it on her um on her Instagram and KH Makeup will save you money um, and it's affiliated but this is beautiful I really really love this I love the different tones of green in there I love that they put in that pop of pink I love that they put in a black really really good color story very well thought out um, but I'm gonna pass on that one okay this one is gorgeous this one reminds me a lot of Angie's palette with Odin's Eye, the little ghost palette. It's very similar, kind of, because it's got the blues and the purples. This is the Ansley Rain Cosmetics Twisted Tea Party palette. I think this is really, really pretty. I want to try Ansley Rain, but they are really out of my price point. Like, for me, it's just I can't justify spending that amount of money on eyeshadow palettes. It's kind of the reason why I've kind of steered away from Natasha Denona and other brands that are like $60 or above. And I know makeup prices are creeping up, but I just can't afford that. Um, but this is definitely pretty and I know Ensley Rain does really good shimmers. I mean, I've seen everybody talk about Ensley, the Ensley Rain palettes, the, their, their bigger ones uh, with the square pans. Um, so this is definitely cute and, um, you know, Karen posted, I put, pulled this from Karen's page again. Karen uh, posted this as so KH Makeup will save you money at Ensley Rain. But I'm going to pass on this one. Um, don't need it. Okay, this is so beautiful. <gasps> this is so beautiful. This is from Unearthly Cosmetics. I think that they originally released this as part of a box set, and then they decided to bring it out um, as, a, you know, the, as the palette as a standalone, like you could purchase it. This is the Devour palette. And it has the, the, the flytrap, um, Venus flytrap on the front. And, it, you know, of course, it reminds me of Little Shop of Horrors, which is one of my favorite movies. Now, I do like that movie. I didn't think of that as a horror movie so much. It was just more, more kind of like very campy. And I love Rick Moranis. And I love the songs. And I love the musical. And I remember when 
they the high school you know our high school drama department um, did it in high and when I was in high school um, my brothers went to the boys high school I went to the girls high school and their drama department did a little shop of horrors and it was amazing um, the devour palette I love the mixture of these these cranberries with these greens um, I just think it's beautiful and I totally totally am into it it's not the one that I really really want from unearthly cosmetics I'll get to that in a second but yeah it's pretty and I do like it it would definitely be a low buy for me so that's a low buy this is the pretty grunge palette from Huda Beauty I think this is gorgeous I've every time she releases one of these bigger palettes I take a double take and I want to get it but her her um, her larger palettes I think they run about they run they run close to sixty dollars and this is this was just really really pretty I love um, love the neutral and cool tones in this the pinkiness um, and those you know those really kind of like rich browns that aren't super warm and the marble shades are just absolutely stunning I really really like this one the one that I most wanted from her was the um, rose quartz palette and I think this one would be a runner-up I think last year she did empower but I really really appreciate um, I always appreciate these Huda palettes and I always want them but I never end up picking them up so it's gonna be a no buy for me because I just know that I won't pick it up and I know that I wouldn't use it a lot anyway it's too low neutral okay this one um, is another palette that um, that was collaborate it was a collaboration um, with Sugar Drizzle and Doodles by the Bunny this woman Angela does the best color stories I plan to do another video soon ranking doodles by the bunny creation palettes because I love doing that I love going through her um, Instagram and I'm saving all of her saving all of her mock-ups and then I rank them and so I haven't done that in a while this one is so beautiful I like this one more than I like the ones that she did with gourmand girls to be honest with you um, the one that she did with gourmand girls that I was the most interested in I think would probably be the haunted which is the last one but I like this one more than that so if I was gonna get a doodles by the bunny palette it would probably be the one from sugar drizzle my only issue with sugar drizzle is their palettes mostly are are more um, shimmer heavy than matte so um, but I really like the color story of this I love that pop of orange I love the greens that she chose I love the purples I love that there's a deep black in there gorgeous palette it is definitely a low buy for me okay what is this madness let's see Nabla cosmetic okay I love Nabla now I just decluttered a Nabla palette um, some of the best shadows I've ever used are Nabla shadows I love the Nabla palette the secret palette that is one of my favorite palettes of all time I did have the dreamy too I decluttered it this is beautiful this palette is um, it's the side-by-side -side nude baby it's 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 the nude baby palette it is more of like a rosy nudes and I love rosy nudes those are pretty and this would be a low buy for me I like that it's smaller um, but I don't need it so I'm not gonna buy it right now but I mean if I needed a rosy nude palette I would pick this one hands down okay this one no no no, no. When I saw this, I was like, why? Why, 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 why? The Midi Xenon palette from Natasha Denona. No, nobody needs that much gray and black, you know. I, I just not, I, I, I can appreciate a good gray and black, like grayscale look. And I do appreciate that there's some, some pink, in it, pink, you know, pink in here. And maybe some of those shades those shades put like a little bit blue which I think is really really pretty but you how much variation are you gonna get from a palette like this there goes my dryer sorry how much variation are you gonna get from a palette like this um, but this is a midi palette I have nothing against Natasha no 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 I just don't want to pay for her palettes eventually I'll get one but uh, that's a no for me okay this one from Colourpop also a no um, this one is called the cloud nine palette pretty but neutral super neutral don't need it end of story bye bye see you later okay the lunar beauty palette oh god i want to try the lunar beauty so bad this one is stunning this one that speaks to my soul because of the blues and the greens i never in a million years thought that i would be a blue and green girl versus like an orange and pink girl 
but I am a blue green girl and I love the combination of the neutrals in here with those blues and greens I love those three those four dark pops you got a dark purple a dark like plummy brown a dark green a dark blue stunning total low buy for me I, I really really love this brand okay um let's see okay uh ooh, ooh. I've got so many palettes to talk about okay this one, oh, I'm torn. I'm so torn on, and this, this this came out just a minute ago. I am so torn on the Sickly Sweet palette from Blend Money. I, I can appreciate the, I can appreciate the format that she put this in. I'm glad that she decided to try something new. Everybody was giving her so much crap. I'm like, why let her, let her do her own thing? Let her do her own thing, but she's got the depth in there, so she has the gradients in there. She just jumbled it up. But it, you know, it is it is pretty pastel. Um, when I look at the majority of it, it is pastel. But there's some mid tones in there, and it definitely. I love Blend Buddy so much. I think I would probably buy this, so it's gonna be a go buy. But I just can't do it right now. Um, okay, this is Lethal. I think is this Lethal or Game Beauty? Let's see. Nope, Lethal Cosmetics uh, Meet Two Up Collection. I love this. I love this. I think this is gorgeous. I love, 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 love the game theme. Um, I don't understand. Are these singles that are below it? Oh, and then the water activated magnet. That's like, well, I looked at the liners. I was like, oh, it's too bad the liners aren't in the palette. But um, I love 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 the palette i think it's great you've got that deep blue and that deep green all the other colors complemented i would totally buy this I'd totally buy this i've always wanted to try lethal cosmetics definitely a low buy for me so there's that let's see what else do i got um juvia's place okay let's just talk about juvia's place this is the afro galactic collection I've said it before and I'll say it again. Juvia's Place, please go back to your 9-pan palettes. Please go back to your 9-pan palettes that make them the size of the Nomad palettes and I would probably buy every single one of them. But I wouldn't pass on this one. Um, oh, oh God, I want this one. This one, this one I want. This one is a go buy. This is the Gothic palette from, um, use, from um, Beauty Creations. Not Beauty Creations, uh, Cosmic Brushes. Yes, 1000% yes. Don't need it, but would totally buy it because I love I love Cosmic Brushes. I have two palettes from Cosmic Brushes. They are everything. I adore them. They are amazing Cosmic Brushes Gothic palette. Yes, please. Thank you very much. I will buy that one. Yes. Okay. Is this one? Which one is this? Oh, this one's the Friday the 13th one. Closer look at the Glam Light Friday the 13th collection. Yes, this is the one. I love this one. I love this one. I love, I love the reds that are in there, the blues that are in there. They even have some dark, like murky greens, some mauves. Oh, this one, I think of all of them is the best one that they did by far. I love my crazy in love, but this is the one I would like rank number one. If I had all of those palettes, this is the one. I totally want this one. I totally want this one. This one has more lighter shades in it than the um, Crazy in Love palette does. So this one's a definite go by. And then the last palette I'm going to talk about is from Sigma. And this is their Beauty and the Beast palette. This is really, really pretty. I love that Sigma is doing the princesses. I, I, think, I think it's pretty and I do like Sigma. And I think one thing that Sigma does really, really well is they really can make their palettes and they they the palettes that they create they really give everybody op options like they give color lovers options they give neutral lovers options all within the same palette i'm really disappointed that there isn't like a bright yellow in here i think that's very representative of the movie and they missed the mark with that that you know they didn't have that there for bell um i don't need this this is a little bit too safe for me per se, but I do really, really appreciate it and I love it. So that is the last palette that I'm gonna talk about. Okay, that's a lot of palettes. Oh, I hope this video isn't too long. But anyway, 10, 6 a.m. Pacific time, guys. 6 a.m. Pacific. If you're on my time zone, that's when the Odin's Eye palettes launch. If you're interested in them, I highly suggest it. I highly suggest it because I'm telling you, these ones last year sold out. 
they sold out that day. And they restocked them one time. They brought them back this year. They will not bring them back again, I doubt. I mean, I doubt it. I'm gonna do a video about palettes that I wish brands would bring back. In honor of the Odin's Eye bringing these back, I'm gonna do a, a video about palettes that I wish brands would bring back. Maybe it'll be a trend, they'll bring back their most popular palettes. I know Mel did it briefly with the Vita and Muerte palette, with the um, Dio, uh, Dio de los Muertos palettes. I know that Melt did that, which was a huge thing because a lot of people wanted that Muerte palette, of course. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching today. Please give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, comment your favorite new release if I didn't touch on it. I know the unearthly palette that I forgot. But anyway, I'll save it for another day. Hopefully I will get it. But that is all for now, you guys. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, leave me a Christmas tree because um, I love Christmas and Odin's Eye Christmas palettes, so leave me a Christmas tree, okay? Thumbs up. Borje Finger Hearts, I purple you. You're awesome and amazing. Ta-ta for now, and I'll see you in my next video, okay? Bye.